Are you ready to see Evil Dead Rise? I am ready as fuck. Oh, ready? Or is there cursing in this video? Can we curse? I don't know. But I guess we'll have to find out. Fuck anyway, it. we're here. Special Horror Hound screening at Evil Dead Right. You can see there's a lot of people in this sweaty lobby of this uh, nice theater, the Esquire Theater in Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, we're going to bring it, man. We're ready to do this. We're going to let you guys know what we think of this film right after we've seen it. We're going to get the... Our, our natural reactions. Yep. Yeah. All honest. All honest. Yeah. And if it's terrible, we'll tell you. If it's awesome, we'll tell you. If they pay us, we'll say whatever. If they pay us, we'll say whatever. Right. Yeah. 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 No. We don't care. We're whores. Whores. Yeah. Big whores. Yeah. So, anyway, we got our popcorn. We got our beverages. We're ready to do this. That's Kenny. That's Pat. Flotten. Spencer, Tina, and a bunch of people that I don't know. <laughs> oh, check it out. Jesus Christ Superstar. Hell yeah. That's that's your favorite, isn't it, Pat? Love it. Get a little down for a little JCS. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's all about Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh. What are you talking about, dude? Ted Neely fucking kills it. Oh well, anyway. So we'll begin shortly. We're still seating. My name's Jessica Dwyer. I am happy to say that we partner with Warner Brothers to show you one of the most badass mother effing horror films that you have yet to see. Woo! Ah! And you're going to see it almost a full month early. Almost. So, I uh, want to let you know too, in the upcoming issue of Horror Hound Magazine, I interviewed the two lovely lead ladies for this film. Let's not make this about and yourself, Jessica. You Come on. It's the first movie in 30 years to give me a goddamn nightmare. <laughs> I was screaming for my mom, and if you see this film, you'll know that was a bad idea. So, spoiler alert. Fuck. With that, you will be. Uh, Terrified out of your brains here in a few minutes. You were the first or second, actually, group to see this. That means no cameras, no recording. Be nice. You want to keep doing this with this company. They are fantastic and they make really great horror movies. Bruce Campbell! Yeah, woo! seen the movie so it's not that funny and when you see the movie it won't be funny then either <laughs> yeah so this is a cheese grater with mom's leguini freshly made by hand al deadite perfection in nine minutes so uh yeah uh who thinks they they deserve this Woo. everybody thinks they deserve right, let's start right here why 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 ma'am why do you deserve shit <laughs> you got your tits up. Well, I can't comment on your tits because I don't want to be canceled tonight. <laughs> Can you do better than tits? Yeah. You, the girl from Evil Dead 2? Oh boy, you better just take that. Take that. Thank you. Because if you didn't get that, you'd stab my eyes out in the parking lot. So that's fine. We do have a few more. You're not so totally special. <laughs> Let's just go around. Let's just get these out. Good in the kitchen. Good in the kitchen. Okay. okay. So, um, just as a little feedback on the cheese grater, it is probably one of the most wince inducing scenes you're ever going to see. Don't tell us about the movie, Jessica. Where are you going? After you see this film. So, the cheese grater wins MVP of Evil Dead Rise. Quit talking about the movie. 
This movie is very cheesy. Yes, it is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to apologize. Right from the go-get. From the bottom of my heart. Because this movie's going to fuck you up bad. <laughs> yeah, it's going to fuck you up for 96 minutes, this movie. <laughs> Do we have any children here tonight? Yeah, yeah we're here. Yeah, you're Woo! a shitty parent. <laughs> You're a shitty parent. <laughs> Any other children here with shitty parents? <laughs> really just, where, where? Uh, what? He's 19. He's 19. I saw him down there, I was like, Don't brag, don't brag. <laughs> it's unbecoming. Does anybody have any questions about a movie they have not seen yet? Uh, there's a lot of reserved seats. Where the fuck are all these things? <laughs> Oh, I was busy getting loaded next door. I couldn't make it. Okay, so no question. Okay, good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Are you in it? I would say this. <laughs> Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, you will be rewarded richly. I have a question. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. So this movie has very much a female horror element. Female horror element. Well, the uh, yeah, the women are in control, which is oh yeah, oh yeah, boy. Let's see how that works out. Oh man, men are so bad at running things. If only women ran things. Yeah, yeah. When moms go bad is the subtitle to this movie. Yeah, yeah. A little. Hey, hey. Who's the kid here? Where's the kid? Right here. Hey, kid. How old are you? You're what? Seven. Seven. And how about how about you, kid? How old are you? I'm ten. Ten. <laughs> We're not paying for therapy. Do you guys, do you guys, do you guys we both. We're already in therapy. We're both. <laughs> yeah, fucking because of you. <laughs> uh, okay, so two kids. Do you have mothers? Do you both have a mother? Yeah, I have I don't, ma'am, don't. You're not part of this. You're <laughs> twisted children, not the twisted parent. So, kid, have you seen? Have you kids seen horror movies before? Of course. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> what you, did you practice in the parking lot outside? <laughs> Do you like your mother? You guys, what? Yeah. Yeah. What's the thing you like most about your mother? That what? Her perfume? Her food. Her food. Well, this mommy ain't cooking shit, little buddy. Oh, she's making eggs, all right. Oh, she made eggs in the trailer. Yeah. How'd that turn out, little Billy? Kid. What do you expect that's gonna happen tonight? What do you like, like, do you think you're gonna see something that you probably should not see tonight? Are you, are you aware of that? No, not at all, not at all. Oh my God, you're destroying an innocent child. These, these children are like, oh, I love the flowers and the trees and the bees. Yeah, not tonight, kid, not tonight. Cause mom's going south tonight. What? All right, give the kids some money. <laughs> Pass it back. Pass it back. Pass it back. Make sure it gets there. Kid, it's five bucks. Five bucks for a little Billy. What's your name, kid? What's your name? What? Brennan. Brennan? Yeah. What a modern name that is. <laughs> Punk, what's your name? Zachary. Zachary. Did you see the movie Shazam? No. With the guy Zachary? No. Yeah, neither did anyone else. Oh! Let's see. Give Zachary five bucks. <laughs> so that he can experience being a loser. Sorry, Zachary, you movie bomb. <laughs> Make sure it gets back there, Zachary. Make sure it gets back there.
We're just about done with the money. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so much to go around. Zachary and uh, Kimbo, whatever your name is, uh, <laughs> my damaged child. So folks, if you see these kids having problems, you should call Protective Service. <laughs> Hey, Dad, let's go to Dad for a second. Dad, Dad, why is little Goober here tonight? Couldn't get a sitter? Couldn't get a better date. Couldn't get a better date? No. You're saying your son is your date? Man, is that another conversation? <laughs> go ahead, say it. Say it, say it, little Billy. <laughs> not Billy. I could kick your little Billy ass out of this thing. <laughs> oh, I won't. But I won't because I want you to be properly traumatized. <laughs> properly, properly. Boy, oh boy. This movie you're about to see was filmed in New Zealand during the pandemic. Which was a barrel of laughs. Let me tell you. <laughs> they shut this production down for six weeks and the uh, actors could not go anywhere because New Zealand was pretty amazing how they, they had zero COVID, zero COVID. And then they had one case and they were so restricted, they, they shut the entire country down for one case. Some guy coming to a convention, whorehound, hey, hey, yeah, whore, And you infected the country. <laughs> So there were a lot of uh, trials and tribulations for this particular movie to just get it done. Uh, movies were considered uh, non-essential. The motion picture industry was considered non-essential during the pandemic. That's a good one. That's a good one. What did you do during the pandemic? You watched every fucking movie ever made. Listened to every record, read every, every, every magazine, every book ever written. And now you need more. So tonight we're here to give you more. Yeah. Now, are you all part of Horror Hound? Yeah. Yeah. Is the only reason that you're here because of Horror Hound? Like you can't get in unless you were part of it or what? Yeah. No. T uh, tit, ma'am. Tit, tit, one of what? <laughs> what say you? Sorry, your your large diet sprite is, is reaching to the heavens through your boobs. But what I can ignore that. What what's your answer? Did I ask a question? <laughs> By the way, every time she laughs, her drink goes like this. <laughs> You, does anyone, can anyone else do that? There's some guys with man boobs here. They could probably do it. Yeah, look, look, look. Hardy, 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 did they take your cameras away? No. No? What'd they do? Did they put it in a bag or anything? Oh my God. Oh my God. Is it an honor system? <laughs> oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. The whole movie will be on the interwebs tonight. Don't be a D-bag. Protect what you've been given. You've been given a very special treat tonight. Even if you don't like it, I don't give a shit. Don't, don't <laughs> leak it. Don't, don't be that person. You're all special. The reason that's the reason why you're here. Thank it's, you. Because you're not those people. Come on. Now. Come on now. Yeah. All right. So we do have to eventually watch this movie. Does anyone is anyone curious about anything before we get started? Here? Back there in the back. Yes. Yes. Right there. Movie. Yes, ooh, ooh. Where do you write this in your personal like, how would you write this? In my oeuvre? <laughs> yes, so where would you write this in all the Evil Dead movies? It's a good Evil Dead movie. How many have we made? Five? Yes. Top five. <laughs> so 
It's hard to beat a couple of the other ones. <laughs> the other ones have some special stuff. Yes, right there. I would actually like to give a round of applause and appreciation for making this happen for us. You guys are fucking awesome. All right. Yeah. Appreciation going on tonight. Now, yes, right behind me. When is Sam going to stop being an asshole and make another one with you? When will Sam stop being an asshole, uh, assuming he is an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I might tell him, and you might not make it home tonight. So. <laughs> hey, He's a big Hollywood director. They have people. They have security. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? Good way to go. It's like. It's like Twitter. I'll give you 30 seconds to take that back. <laughs> no retraction. Uh, well, look, um, I stopped being Ash because uh, I'm a geezer now, and uh, uh, geezers don't uh, bounce back as fast as they used to, so I'm just going to be a producer pants. How about that? <laughs> but we can still care about the movies that we make. Sam Raimi handpicked this guy, Lee Cronin, who's a f Irish Catholic fucked up weird Euro shit going on. So you're gonna see some of that in here too. So those of you who are lapsed Catholics, watch out, watch out. Yeah, you're gonna be crucified tonight, baby. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do it, yeah. Are we gonna get any other classic shaky cam? Classic shaky cam. Two by four shaky cam. Two by four shaky cam. I think there's two handheld shots in this whole movie. Lee Cronin is a different kind of filmmaker. He doesn't do that frenetic shit. He doesn't feel like he has to draw you in with frenetica. He does Euro shit. And his Euro shit is dark shit. So it'll be different. It won't be frenetic, but you'll go, why is my soul corrupted? I don't know, Lee Cronin. Yes, right here. How many gallons of blood? Gallons of blood. Lee claims to have sub to have gone beyond the Evil Dead movies. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. There's no more Evil Dead. Uh, there's no more blood than Evil Dead Two. Ash gets 55 gallons of drum, a, a drum of 55 gallons of, of blood in his face in one one take. That doesn't happen in this movie. Not to say there isn't a shit ton of blood, <laughs> but let's not compare uh, gallons and liters and, and whatnot. We'll do it, depends on the question. Yes, right back there, yes. Are we gonna get to see the Delta? Oh, the Delta. Uh, if Sam Raimi had uh, directed this movie, he would have had a masturbatory delta in it. <laughs> because Sam Raimi, uh, something apparently happened in that car. That 1973 Delta 88, with a big bench seat with vinyl. What happened on that seat, ma'am, in the back of that car that Sam is compelled now to put that piece of shit car in every movie, every movie he's ever made. And I'm, I'm including Quick and the Dead which is a Western. <laughs> where is that, where is the car in that movie, ma'am? Uh, he stripped it down to the chassis. Yeah, and put a covered wagon over the top of it so he could say, I got a blowjob in that car. <laughs> he won't tell me where that car is because he knows I'll try and kill it. Because there's, there's no reason why someone should be that enamored with a car from 1973. An American-made car in 1973 was the biggest piece of shit ever made in Ohio. If you didn't make a piece of shit, we did in, in Detroit. So we competed for biggest piece of shit in the early 70s. You have to look at the date when your car was made. Do you realize that? On a Friday. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want that car. Guys are... Pet. Fuck, fuck it. It's done. Move it down the line because it's Friday. Nope. Nope. Don't talk about that car anymore. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> By the way, you realize, watch, watch Darkman. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh sure, Darkman. Is that movie in Darkman? Yes! Is the car in Darkman? Darkman, yeah, sorry, is the car in Darkman. Is the movie in Darkman, yes. Is the car in Darkman, yes. Liam Neeson is hanging from a helicopter. 
hits that car hanging from a helicopter. A simple plan, Billy Bob Thornton. That's his piece of shit car. Uncle Ben, that's his piece of shit car. Oh my God, oh my God. Uh, it's in Oz, it's, it's in Oz Great and Powerful. Oh yeah, am I serious? Yes, I'm serious, it's Sam Raimi and his blowjob car. That's the spot. <laughs> It's broken apart. It's in the tinkers. The, 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 it's, it's the car, the parts are bronzed up on the wall in the tinker shop. Yeah. Gotta have it. Why? Why? What sexual act took place? And he goes, yeah, yeah. Come on. Multiverse of Madness, it's in the Multiverse of Madness. Oh, it's hanging there in some phony background with 82 other special effects shots. You, you can't even notice unless you watch it like slow motion 46 times, which you will. <laughs> All right, so like, yeah. Yeah, we're just about there. One more, let's do one more. Make it good. Yeah, right here. Oh, boy. <laughs> You know, I could do that. I could wish you that. If I was your little monkey. <laughs> but I'm <clears throat> Happy birthday anyway. <laughs> Folks, thank you for coming because it does matter. Uh, both my kids were put through college because of you. Uh, both my kids dropped out of college, not, not, not because of you. <laughs> I really appreciate that effort. Thank you very much. And thank you for supporting this theater. This is 100 plus years old. Uh, this was almost a Wendy's. <laughs> and some of you are going, oh, shit, I wish there was a Wendy's here right now. <laughs> so you are, you are, you are important in this process because if you like cool theaters like this, the only way they will stay alive is if you support them, which you are doing. So thank you for that. Enjoy the show because it's gonna fuck you up bad. <laughs> just got out of the film and it's already chaos as you can hear yep People, someone had a heart attack they're, they're being taken to the hospital that sounds scary evil dead rises was i don't know if it was scary per se but it was fun it was, it was pretty fun. fun yep bruce campbell hit me in the nuts right after i got out of the screening uh, that was a nice surprise that bruce showed up to do one intro what a what a cool guy yeah, dapper there's... as hell now he made a suggestion that maybe his voice was in the movie he said if you listen closely when I asked are you in it yeah remember? so I don't know I heard it well, what did you think though I thought it was awesome yeah you like I it? especially uh, appreciated where I couldn't tell where some of it was practical and some of it was the effects yeah like I thought they handled that really well you can see a lot of new films don't yeah they looked like there was quite a bit of the effects there at the end with the arm creature yeah. you could you could notice it pretty heavy in there but it was clearly the the director was obviously from New Zealand, very influenced by Dead Alive. Yeah, uh, there's a, a lot of Dead Alive uh, vibes going on there. A and lot some of Kubrick blood. too. Yeah, yeah a little the shiny, elevator. Yeah, you know, I, like I felt the, well, it's dripping blood it's everywhere. Dripping blood out of the theater. Yeah, right. little black waters of Echoes Pond in there. You yeah, know, they, they found a thing in the beginning, turned everything crazy. Black shit coming out of the mouth and eyes. I don't know. I think I, I I'm gonna have to call a lawyer. But, might have to. No, there's definitely no no influence there. But it was fun. The was lead fun. chick was amazing. She by was the way. great. I had never seen her in yeah. anything. She I, was fantastic. I know she was on that show Vikings, but I never saw it. Never saw it. Never saw it. Sorry, never saw it. But I'll 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 look into your work a little more uh, closely now because uh, I enjoyed it. So what do you saw? On a one to ten, where are you rate it? I'm saying solid uh, eight point three. I'm more like seven, a seven, solid seven. Solid seven. I, I think it, it, it's definitely. Uh, I think it, it has a good place in the franchise. I 
Uh, there hasn't really been a stinker in the in no. the, in the uh, Evil Dead franchise. It was definitely more in the vein of the remake, which I, which I like. Yeah. It was more that more serious tone. Yeah. Less comedic. Well, I like that they're going serious because obviously the series went completely comedic. You know? Right. So. Two and yeah. Army of Darkness. But I enjoyed the Dead by Dawn chant there, a little Love nod, that. nod to the the sequel. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. We appreciate Horror Hound and Warner Brothers for the advanced heat. I say go see this movie. Spencer says go see this movie. Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise. Better than this one. We'll talk about that later. No, I like this one. He liked this one, but and I like cocaine. Better than this one, though. Come on. What? Better than uh, uh, Evil Dead Rises? But Evil Dead, uh, yeah, is Evil this Dead, another well, conversation? We'll, we'll talk about it. He's on the spot. Evil Dead Rise didn't have an Ice Nine Kills poster in it. So. Oh, here we are. This is where it really comes down yeah, to. Yeah. You know how you can, uh, you know, wax that ass, you know. You put, buy, buy there, my affection. Yeah, if there was a nice nine kills poster uh, on the fridge in this one, <laughs> which yeah. one? Where would it stack? Pleading the fifth. Uh, figures. More like he's pleading the sixth. Uh, ooh. Boom.